Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier today, I let you know that Mozilla Firefox 145, which should be released in just an hour or two's time, ends 32-bit Linux support. I'll leave the video linked if you'd like some more information. Now, just to let you know about another change that has been introduced in the next stable release, version 145, which is rolling out a little bit later today. And this time, Firefox is going to be blocking more fingerprinting methods to improve privacy in the next stable release. So just a quick overview regarding this change. Now, Mozilla says that with Firefox 145, it's rolling out major privacy upgrades that take on browser fingerprinting, which is a pervasive and hidden tracking technique. Now, just a quick recap about fingerprinting, if you don't know what it is. Mozilla says that fingerprinting builds a secret digital ID of you by collecting details of your setup ranging from your time zone to your operating system settings that together create a fingerprint identifiable across websites and across browser sessions. So having a unique fingerprint means fingerprinters can continuously identify you invisibly, allowing bad actors to track you without your knowledge or consent. Online fingerprinting, Mozilla says, is able to track you for months, even when you use any browser's private browsing mode. Interesting stuff. So because of this, Mozilla now, with the rollout of version 145, is rolling out the second phase of defenses against fingerprinters, which Mozilla says lingers across all your browsing but aren't in the known trackers list. And with these fingerprinting protections that are going to be rolling out, the amount of Firefox users trackable by fingerprinters is reduced by half. And here's just a graph depicting that. No protections, phase one, and now with phase two. Now, Mozilla says that drawing from a global analysis of how real people's browsers can be fingerprinted, it has developed new, unique, and powerful defenses against real-world fingerprinting techniques. So basically how this will all work is that these fingerprinting protections, Mozilla says, work on multiple layers, building on Firefox's already built-in privacy features. As an example, Firefox has long blocked known tracking and fingerprinting scripts as part of its enhanced tracking protection, which the browser has as a privacy and security feature, as you may well know if you do use Firefox. So beyond just blocking known tracking and fingerprinting scripts as part of its enhanced tracking protection, Mozilla says Firefox now will also limit the sheer amount of information it makes available to websites in the first place. Browsers, Mozilla says, need to give some information to websites to use legitimate features like sharing your graphics hardware specs so that a game can optimize its performance. Trackers, on the other hand, also ask for that same information simply to help build a unique fingerprint of your device. So Firefox is now stopping websites from knowing specific hardware details like the number of cores your processor has, how many simultaneous fingers your touchscreen supports, and even the precise dimensions of your dock or taskbar, believe it or not. These details, Mozilla say, may seem like they don't matter, but it's the combination of details that gives the fingerprint a good idea of what you are using and who you are. So quite a lot going on behind the scenes with this fingerprinting. So basically, to sum this all up, Mozilla says that Firefox's new protections are a balance of disrupting fingerprinters while maintaining web usability. More aggressive fingerprinting blocking it says might sound better, but is guaranteed to break legitimate website features. For instance, calendar, scheduling, and conferencing tools need your real time zone. So Firefox's approach is to target the most leaky fingerprinting vectors, the scripts and scripts used by trackers while preserving functionality. Many websites need to work normally. So basically, that's the long and the short of all of this. So as mentioned, Mozilla says that the new fingerprint protections are rolling out with Firefox 145, which will be rolling out a little bit later today, maybe in the next hour and a half or so, which I'll post on. And just take note though that Mozilla does say the feature is not enabled by default. And the reason for this is it's likely to prevent websites from breaking, but they are available in private browsing mode. 
or when enhanced tracking protection has been set to strict mode. So just take that into consideration. And that's all been made available in our next stable release, version 145. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.